Okay, before I start this video, I want to give this quick message. Spunky1991 has moved his channel to a new channel. And for all those who have been subscribed to him, those looking for a new channel, I will leave the link in the description box and in the comment section. Be sure to click on it and go subscribe to him over to this new channel. All his stuff, all his content, his Eagles content will be done on this new channel. So be sure to check him out and subscribe, especially if you've been a subscriber to his already. With that, we thank you very much and have a wonderful day. In the NFL draft. The d hey, make us lunch. We're hungry. Yo, everybody, how you doing? King Ding Bat here. Now let's just get it out of the way right away. Let's just get it out of the way. It's eggnog time, yo. I figured we might as well just get it out of the way. Now, I want to talk about the Philadelphia Eagles 10 and 1 taking on the Seattle Seahawks 7 and 4. Sunday night national TV. And what a game it's going to be. I'm going to tell you this. I'm sick and tired. I'm sick and tired of the Seattle Seahawks. Seems like the last Three, four times we've played Seattle, they're always beating the crap out of us. And I'm sick and tired of it. And I thought last year we went in there and we had a chance early and we blew it. But I'm sick of Seattle. I'm ready to kick the butt all over the place. Now, that's usually a hard place to play. 12th man, all that kind of stuff. The hell with the 12th man. We're going to take you out. But really, in my opinion, some of this game may start... Tonight, Thursday night, you have the Redskins and the Cowboys. If the Redskins beat the Cowboys, the Eagles clinch the division. Would that affect the Eagles going into Seattle on Sunday? I don't know. I don't think it should because you still got to play. You're still fighting for home field. So you have something to play for. But would, would it take a little something off? That would remain to be seen. I hope not because tonight... The Cowboys, the stinking Cowboys, the satanic team, is going to play Redskins. And I'm taking, right here, right now, the Redskins to beat Dallas tonight. Clinching the division for the Eagles. Hopefully result, resulting in a victory cigar night for me. So, I think the Redskins win. I think the Eagles clinch the division. And they go in and they play Seattle. No Richard Sherman, Seattle has. No Kim Chancellor, Seattle has. They're gone. And Seattle is not the same team that they've been in past years. Redskins have beat them in Seattle. Um, Atlanta has beat them in Seattle. So we know Seattle's beatable in Seattle. That's proven. That's science, okay? That's science this year. Now, when I look at the Eagles matchup with Seattle, there's really only one thing that scares me about the Seahawks. Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson's having a great year. He has a great ability to keep plays alive by time, you know, by time in the pocket, scramble out and make a throw, or keep the ball and run. He can do all that. That's what he does because he's Russell Wilson. So what do you have to do? Get Russell Wilson. Get him. Get him. Tackle him. Keep him contained. If the Eagles do that, this game is over. This is going to be a blowout. This is going to be a blowout. Now, there's a lot of people out there waiting for Seattle to beat us. They're praying that Seattle beats us. They think if we lose one game, that our whole thing is going to crumble. They think one loss and the whole thing comes down. It ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen. They got a lot to learn, okay? A lot. Now, I think from a defensive standpoint, our defensive line matches up very well with their offensive line. Our linebacker, I, I like it. I like the matchup. Seattle has no running game. They're pretty much one-dimensional, and you should be able to make them that for the whole entire game. The whole thing is Russell Wilson buying time on his feet and keeping plays alive and making, you know, basically something out of nothing. We, we do the same thing a lot of times with Carson Wentz. They have that ability. That's what we have to be careful of. Now... Our offense should be able to shred them in the passing game. No Sherman, no Chancellor. Everybody knows that. And their defensive line is good, but I think our offensive line will be able to 
take care of them. We've pretty much run against everybody we've played this year. I don't think that changes. So in the end, I think the matchup is for the Eagles. I just think they're too much for Seattle. Seattle's 12th man, the home field advantage definitely isn't what it was. So with that said, when I look at this game, I'm going to predict that the Eagles are going to win 30 to 20. I think the Eagles take care of business Sunday night, go to 11 and 1, and then hopefully we'll be in a position to at least clinch a bye week, you know, with another win next week. But let's get to 11 1, keep this thing rolling. That's the main thing. And look, I hope tonight, I hope tonight that the Redskins take care of the Cowboys and we can celebrate with the victory cigar, the two, you know, the, the NFC East. And that's what I'm hoping. I know and I'm pretty confident that the Redskins are going to beat the Dallas Cowboys pretty bad. So with that said, that's how I see this game going. Eagles win again, 30 to 20. And I've only been wrong about the Eagles. No, I haven't been wrong about the Eagles the whole year. So this is another win. You can almost book it. With that said, take care. Talk to you later. And don't be a thing.